All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make a realistic looking liquid blobs here in After Effects. Step one, let's go and select the circle, the ellipse tool, press and hold shift and create a circle. Make sure that you're on the fill, click on the fill, select the solid color, click OK. Here you can change up the colors. Right now, I don't want anything on the stroke. Click on the stroke, click on the none, click OK. And I'm gonna go to the layer, new, and select adjustment layer. Now let's go to the effects and presets, type in choker. Drag and drop the simple choker on the adjustment layer. And I'm gonna go and select the shape layer, the circle. And if I duplicate it, press Ctrl D and create another copy. I'm gonna go to the adjustment layer and increase the choker mat. And check this out, they're going to get smaller. And for example, if I select one of the circles and try to drag it near the other circle, it is going to stick to the other one. So basically this is the first step to create that liquid effect. But right now I'm gonna delete the smaller circle and select the bigger one. And we're gonna add a couple of things on it. So right click on the shape layer. Let's go to the layer styles and select inner shadow. Now let's open up the inner shadow. And here we got the size. I'm gonna increase the size of it. And I'm also gonna go to the distance and increase it. Now let's go to the angle and I'm gonna rotate it so it's gonna go to the bottom left side, something like this. Now to make this look even more realistic, I'm gonna need to add here some glowing part where the shadows are. So I'm thinking to do this a little bit more differently. I'm gonna go to the shape layer, right click. Let's go to the layer styles and let's go down and select the stroke. Scroll down, open up the stroke and I'm gonna change up the color. I'm gonna go with some yellow-ish, click OK. Let's increase the size, I scroll all the way up. Let's select the adjustment layer and let's go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur. And we're gonna drag it and drop it above the simple choker. Now I'm gonna go to the blurriness, increase it and check this out. It is going to make this glowy effect. Now I'm gonna go down to the stroke again and decrease the size. I'm also gonna adjust the inner shadow. I'm gonna add more size. I'm gonna increase the distance, decrease the size. And not but least, I also wanna make this area pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna scroll up, let's go to the shape layer, right click, layer styles, and I'm gonna select the gradient overlay. Let's scroll down, open up the gradient overlay, and I'm gonna go to the edit gradient. So here we don't need the black, but I'm gonna change it up to white, and I'm gonna go and click on this top handle, and I'm gonna decrease the opacity to zero. So right now it looks something like this, click OK, and we're gonna need to change the style from linear to a radial. And check that out, we got a light area in the center, you also can offset it, you can move it around. I'm gonna position it a little bit more up, and I'm gonna go back to edit gradient, and I'm gonna bring this in, so it's gonna make that light area a little bit more smaller. Click OK, and it looks a little bit more realistic now. I'm gonna scroll up, collapse the layer, and now but least I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in turbulent displacement, and I'm gonna drag and drop the turbulent displacement on the adjustment layer. And this way I'm gonna distort it, let's go to the amount and I'm gonna decrease it. And if you rotate the evolution, it is going to distort it constantly. So I'm gonna press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch at the evolution, and let's type in time asterisk to 30. And hit play, and this is how it looks. And now, but least, all you need to do is select the shape layer, duplicate it, and just animate the keyframes and scale it however you like. And pretty much that's how you make a realistic looking liquid blob here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.